Foam Stars, first to review. I play a couple hours so you don't have to. This is a free monthly PlayStation game that is available for no charge through March 4th. It's a game shooting to be a non-toxic first-person shooter, so you've got parties instead of lobbies, you're getting chills instead of kills, and all types of things that if you're an older person playing, you'll have to stuff down some of your seriousness and superiority to power through plenty of puns and pandering. But maybe that's not such a bad thing. The environments are extravagant and lively in the pun-based Bath Vegas, with fun asphatics and a swarm of color that make this game really pop. Pop, pop! Hey, I'm not immune to puns either, okay? The game's split into two modes of play. There are the offline missions, where you're fighting waves of enemies more in a story context, with really ridiculous voice acting that can get a chuckle out of me now and then, I'll admit. And then there's the versus mode, which is PvP, that doesn't have a lot of game modes, there's one steady one, which is Smash the Star, and then a rotating mode that switches each hour. I didn't really get to try the other game modes because I was searching for one for seven minutes, just said screw it, I'm enjoying Smash the Star, we're gonna continue to play that. And it's a great lofty goal to be a non-toxic, just friendly, good vibes shooter, but you do have to nail the combat for that to actually work, and the combat holds up. There's really fun, diverse abilities, as you have different characters, each with their own skill sets and kits. Deep blue gank. <laughs> That's just fun. Okay, so you can place that, like, wherever you want. And, dang. Okay, that... It at least looks super sick. And the core gameplay positioning and the territory battle is very important. Precision isn't significantly emphasized, and most success will be movement and control dependent without getting too dull on pace, because there's kind of always something to do, even if it's just shooting the floor and getting foam up in there. Let there be foam! But being smart with your positioning, catching people off guard, getting up close and personal, there are all ways to split yourself apart and improve your individual impact, which does get rewarded in the Smash the Star game mode, as once lives are depleted, it's all dependent on the best player that gets assigned to stay alive and keep the objective going. And even though the characters have ranging abilities, it is still good that the floor for movement ability is situationally strong with the surfboard, which is Jason Derulo justified. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I love how fast you can adjust the board, it's so fun to me. The board plays which allow you to knock out opponents and save your teammates are simple but suspenseful, which give great opportunities for teamwork in these heroic moments. Or devastation. What? Nope, help, help. I'm right by you, team. Team, I'm right here! Slide! Team! And overall, the smooth and satisfying nature of the movement, as well as the abilities, make this a fairly broadly appealing game, and something that's worth a try. Now let's cover some butts. Use a party pooper? For some small improvements, I'd love if the UI and voice line clarity could be improved with how chaotic this game gets, because they can kind of get lost in all the color, foam, and actions, so it's hard to tell what you've individually accomplished in many points. And you're also unsure the status of certain people in those times. And there are eight characters right now, and they may Maybe trying to be a game that's different, but it is a shooter with complex characters that need to be appropriately balanced, and they're going to be adding a new character with each season, which totally always improves games and doesn't make balancing increasingly impossible and frustrating, and a big, giant, overwhelming mess that turns a lot of the joy from the game to ash. So enjoy these moments where there's some simplicity in the chaos it might get a lot more complicated. That's just a little warning sign because we've, we've seen it many times where they just keep adding and adding to games and they don't really get better. So watch out for that, Foam Stars, but you've got a great base. It was a lot of fun trying you out. Uh, I'd recommend that to those watching. Go for it. That's it for the first two review. Peace out. Oh, let me flip. Do a flip. Oh, I'm in the pink though. Gosh, I feel so like dirty whenever I say that. I'm all in the pink, though. Uh, reload. Get this person. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> pop, pop. 